Hello there, welcome to Sunday, and I'm still in a lab gown because I'm even though I'm at home, yeah, it's it's gonna be a problem for me to wear t-shirts. It is easier to wear short sleeve shirts because I'm newly operated and I'm still quite weak. Anyways, here are a bunch of Pacific Rim figures. That's the reactor blast gypsy danger and horizon brave. So yeah, I got some more Pacific Rim figures, but let's actually look at the behind the box. You see Battle alright, you see Romeo Blue, Horizon Brave, which is that one, and uh Battle of the Docks, Gypsy Danger. I think this is actually the fifth Gypsy Danger I own in seven inch form. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so there was the series one Gypsy Danger, which was the yeah. Then the battle damaged Gypsy Danger. Then they improved upon it with a series four. They improved it with another Gypsy Danger 2.0. Then they made another one. Oh wait, in between the battle damage and the new one, they made one more, which is the end credits where they're all black. It's a Comic Con exclusive though, but I but I have that. Then they made um, what was that? Oh yeah, they made the thing, which is, uh, yeah, another battle damage one, this time the Anchorage attack, the Alaska. Then they made this one, Reactor Blast, and they're making another Gypsy Danger, so no, they're like six Gypsy Dangers. There's too much Gypsy Dangers. There's too many Gypsy Dangers. But I'm still probably going to get it. I like the Pacific Rim figures and NECA is a really good company, but I just thought of that. Who would want to buy six Gypsy Dangers? I don't know, me. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow, shall we?